I'm Jonathan Watts, Global Environment Editor for The Guardian. One of the big changes in my field, at least, is that the environment has risen up the news agenda enormously, um, and that's driven by circumstances. The climate crisis has got much worse in the last 25 years, but it's also uh, because The Guardian has really taken a leading role. The most challenging thing about reporting on climate change is striking the right tone. Um, on one hand, you need to raise the alarm. But on the other hand, you can't just be all doom and gloom. But it was a story about concrete. I realized while I was writing it that I could not have written this story unless I'd had the life I'd had, the career I'd had being a correspondent in Japan, being a correspondent in China, being a correspondent in Brazil, and then being environmental correspondent. And I was able to pull all those different strands of the last 25 years together to write this piece. And it got a wonderful reception and, um, and won some awards. And, um, and I still get invited to con concrete conferences. Um, so <laughs> I've become a, or at least in some people's minds, a concrete guy. I was in Bangladesh covering a typhoon, uh, the aftermath of a typhoon, and I managed to wangle my way onto a military helicopter. I saw a man uh, framed in the bars trying to get into the into the, the football ground and he was holding the bars and silhouetted on the back and I thought it's gonna be a great moving picture of you know a desperate person who, who wants this international aid. And I went over to him and with the help of a translator I said, uh, what what why are you here? You know, with this compassion in my voice and and he said, uh, I I I wanna play football. <laughs> he was just trying to get in to play football and a helicopter had happened to you know, interrupt him. And um, really it just made me think, you know, you, you go into a story with preconceptions about what the story is, but always the story takes over and always the story is different from what you expect. We at The Guardian are extremely lucky. Um, in that we have a lot of latitude to decide what we write and how we write it. Um, I think the editing is, is quite, quite sensitive. And on the whole, we write about things that I, I, I tend to care about. And I think a lot of journalists tend to care about these things, but they can't always write with as much freedom in, uh, as, as, they, as, as you can do here. And I think that that is because we are so independent. Our environmental journalism is supported by you, our global audience. Please click below to make a contribution.